gentlemen, welcome back here to the Hugo Sports 360 YouTube channel. We are going to be talking with uh, Dennis Black today, ladies and gents. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, he can have, you know, he can give us, bless us with some great news here. Some good, you know, some good uh, talking. Uh, he played, uh, played professionally. He averaged a double-double at USF. With about 10 rebounds and about 20 points, and about, excuse me, 17 points. He played pretty well for his time. I mean, Dennis Black was great. We're going to get him on the phone here in about 12 minutes. Uh, excuse me, in about 7 minutes. Um, where is it? 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 Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Just looking for his phone number. There it is. Um, but uh, you know, he averaged. He had 5.5 .5 field goals, and out of 11.2 field goals attempted, he played 79 games at USF um, from 1965 to 1968. He um, he played. Uh, he had a uh, field goal percentage of five of five point or point five four nine four uh he uh shot 5.2 free throws out of uh 6.7 attempted he had a free throw percentage of 0 0.781 he had total rebounds were 9.9 .9. in his second year at usf he averaged a double double in um with 19 points and 12 rebounds in his first year at USF, he averaged uh, 10 points, 7 rebounds. In his last year at USF, he averaged um, he averaged 20 points with 9.8 rebounds. That's why if you round it up, he gets 10 total rebounds and and 16 total points in um, out of his career. That's pretty much you know the thing that he gets. Um. He played in the WCAC with um, with uh, USF. He uh, you know he had a great year. He was six five, um, and uh, you know he did a lot of things for USF. Uh, he was six five there. USF. He was a forward. He played uh, with um, so many great players. Uh, he. Um, he played with the. He played for Pete Poletta and uh, Phil Vucevic, and um, you know guys like Art Wilmore, and you know just guys that you know you can't stop. Art Wilmore is one of them. Uh, he's played with so many different players, and I mean I, I just think that he's gonna have. A, he's gonna have a great year. He's gonna have a great. I mean, like, they, uh, when they were, um, 1967 through 68, they were 16 and 10, 10 and 4 and, and third in the WCAC. In 1966 through 67, they were 13 and 12, four, uh, 7 and 7, fourth in the WCAC. Uh, he had his best season, or the best season was his first season in 1965 through 66. The Dons were 22 and six. They were 11 and three in the WCAC, placed second. They um, uh, they had a average of 82.9 points per game. Um, and uh, Joe Ellis played there. Uh, Eric Mue Erwin Mueller played there. Uh, Ru Russ Guima played there. Uh, Larry Blum, Don Schneider, Eric Wilmore, Dennis Black, W.C. Fortenberry, Tom Brown, and Tom O'Neill. Here we go. Um, they uh, they played pretty well that year. Uh, they ended up going to the NIT, um, uh, and they lost to Army in the quarterfinals, um, eighty to sixty-three. He had a great time at USF. Great year in um, where he was playing, and I mean, he never really. I I don't think he ever went pro because he got drafted in the army, but he was all army. Tried out for the Olympic team, 
Um, he was pretty good. Uh, that 1968 uh, men's basketball Olympic team. Um, there was a massive protest there. It was in Mexico. Uh, it was at Mexico City, and uh, the location was Stadio Olimpiano Universitario in Mexico City, Mexico. Um, the uh, U.S basketball team 1968 US Olympic basketball team ended up uh, won winning the gold medal um, and uh, you know they uh, they had a great year uh, coach K and him were in the uh, nat in the uh, national you know team but ladies and gentlemen this is the moment you have been waiting for. We are going to call Dennis up, and we are going to speak with him. And uh, here we go. Force 360 merge. Hey Dennis, uh, just calling you over the um, over the phone here, getting ready for the interview. Um, uh, are you ready? Um, okay, call you back. Call me in five minutes, I guess. Thanks. Okay, we're going to call him in five minutes because he may think that this is telemarketer number. So we're going to just call it off for five minutes. Let him, you know, because I told him three initially. So I don't understand. Um, he, uh... It's weird, but um, I'm going to call this off about five minutes. Um, right now, Dennis Black. Uh, here we go. Incoming call. Don't, don't, don't. Don't pick it up. Hey, Dennis. How you doing? Good. How are you? Real well, real well. First of all, thank you very much for uh, setting this up. Uh, you're welcome. You're the one who said you're the one who really gave me the okay, so thank you. Well, uh, very good. Uh, so how's how's things going with sh sheltering in place for you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, I'll wait for your questions. Okay, uh, let's just jump into it. First one, what made you want to play basketball? Well, probably uh, when I was five or sixth grade, uh, in those days, we played all three sports, baseball, football, and basketball. 
Football, I knew I did not want to play because I think it hurt. Baseball, I realized I could not get a curve. So there was basketball, and I was a little taller than most of the, my classmates. So I started playing basketball. I just kept on uh, playing basketball all the way through college. So that's how I ended up with uh, playing and uh, basketball. Oh, uh, what made you want to go to USF? Well, I was born and raised in Berkeley, uh, right across from San Francisco. And uh, when you become uh, recruited, you start really determining what you want to do, not only in college, but what do you want to do afterwards. And I knew that I wanted to go to a small school, and USF filled up the uh, Feel that very well. Uh, USF has high academic standards. That's what I was looking for. And also, I knew that I'd be going to USF to play basketball. So I wanted to make sure that the distance was close enough for my parents and my friends to come and see me play and also support me. And finally, USF uh, had just come off uh, almost beat UCLA back in 1962, 63. And so that USF at the time was probably the number one collegiate basketball school on the West Coast. So it pretty well allowed me to know exactly why I wanted to go to USF. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how was it at USF? Uh, USF was just wonderful. Everything that they had uh, promised me uh, they delivered on. I received a, a very high education. Uh, USF is run by the Jesuit Order. Uh, a great group of priests uh, and uh, the students. Uh, students were from all over the United States and parts of the world. And uh, it was just a great chance to break out of just uh, one city like Berkeley to expose myself to the rest of the world. So uh, I was very, very pleased with USF. Uh, how does it f uh, How does it feel to know that you were or you went up against and played with many of the greatest coaches and players of the game? Well, you know, at the time, and that's really a great question. At the time, you don't think about it. Uh, you're there. As a, as a, a team uh, to give it your best. Uh, in basketball, there's five people on the court. You have a bench. You have a coach. And so everyone's sort of given responsibilities uh, during that game on what you need to do. Uh, if you're a shooter, you shoot. If you're, if you're a rebounder, you rebound. And uh, for me, I probably get more enjoyment talking to you about uh, what it was like playing against great coaches or players now, because you have sort of chance to step back and and appreciate what you really did. I mean, if you had to think about it, you probably would not have been as successful as you were. So I was uh, very very fortunate. Um, what was Bobby Knight like when you played against him? Well, uh, going back to nineteen. 66. Six. Uh, we were invited to go back to the NIT back in New York. And Bobby Knight had just started his career of a coach at uh, Army before he went on to Indiana. So what I remember about Bobby Knight was uh, his teams were very disciplined, well coached, and, uh, you know, the military has restrictions, I believe, about how tall they can be uh, get into the cavity. And so we by far uh, had them size-wise, but they hit us hard underneath the boards. They were tenacious, and uh, as it turned out, uh, Army beat USF uh, in the IT. But uh, uh, you could tell that, you know, you know, it's no surprise that some of these people like Bobby Knight continue to go on to uh, uh, his success at Indiana and even his success at Army. It's sort of like a building, building block on 
to uh, coach every week. Yeah, you guys lost uh, 80 to 63. It was a tough loss. Must have been a tough loss. Um, what was running through your mind when you uh, were trying out for the Olympic team? Well, it's a, first of all, it's, it's a real honor just to be selected, and uh, they selected basically 18 uh, ball players from each of the four regions in the United States. Uh, the thing I came away from there, and we we played uh, four games, if I remember correctly, uh, was that the difference between a good ball player, and I consider myself a good ball player, and there were a lot of good ball players, but there's a real difference between great ball players. You had someone like, I'll just throw out a couple of names, uh, you have Jojo White, and... Uh, you know, Calvin Murphy, who went on to the pros and did extremely well. And then you have Pistol Pete Maravich, who's sort of a legend himself. Uh, and you could just see that these people were going to do extremely well on the next level. And uh, they all did. And uh, But, you know, when you play against good competition, you sort of try to get even better yourself. And uh, so for me, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, I had had uh, signed up for the ROTC program at USF, so I uh, had eliminated the chance going on to pro. I went to grad school and then went into the Army as a finance officer, first lieutenant. So uh, it worked out for me. Yeah. Um, so what was Coach K like when you played with him? Uh, he, Coach K was is really a very nice individual, and uh, everything you read about uh, Coach K is, you know, a real a real gentleman, uh, kind, uh, and uh, this just goes back into seventy, seventy one, seventy two when we played all our when we all played on the all army team. Uh, now, Mike had already had four years of training under Bobby Knight, or actually three years. Uh, he learned the fundamentals. Uh, we had uh, our all army basketball coach of the general by the name of Hal Fisher. And Hal was another very good coach. In fact, he actually did some recruiting for the Knicks, the Knicks New York Knicks. Uh, coach K was an unselfish star. And uh, he always put the team first. And uh, again, uh, through Bobby Knight, uh, Bobby uh, helped uh, Mike along the way, as is uh, mentioned in the different uh, books about Bobby Knight and Mike. And uh, again, it's it's uh, it's easy to see why Coach K did as well as he's doing now, and why. The ball players that uh, he's coach have gone on and coached themselves and done very well. Uh, he'll be ranked as one of the greater coaches of all time. Quite up there with John Woody. Yeah, um, so back to your USF days. Uh, I did some uh, digging and I found your two coaches that you guys had, your two head coaches while you were there. Um, how is it like playing for... Um, Vukovic, I'm. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And Paletta. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, some people just call him Coach V or Vuk, but uh, uh, ironically, uh, Coach Kesvich, uh, his son, uh, taught and coached over at Cardinal Newell for a while. Uh, it was in my junior year, I decided that I wanted to go to a basketball camp. Uh, really to find out, you know, exactly how I measure up against other ball players. So Pete Coletta uh, was running a basketball camp up at uh, Squaw Valley, and he had people like uh, Tom and Sherry from St. Mary's, and then went on to the Warriors and the professional uh, sort of the assistant coaches. And so that's where I met uh, Coach Coletta. And again, a real gentleman, knew the game, and uh, I was there basically to have him get to know me as well as 
I self-dated owe him. And uh, fortunately, uh, he liked what he saw and uh, started to recruit me for USM. Lukentovich uh, had a great history uh, playing uh, city ball in San Francisco, went on to USF and uh, in the late 50s and uh, played with Al Perry, who was part of the, the great USF team of the early 50s. But Bill really knew his basketball. Uh, many times we were outnumbered by size and quickness, but uh, he always was able to make sure that we did exactly as he told us to do. So again, it was it was a real pleasure playing both under the Kessler and Champlain. Okay, um, how is it like playing against, uh, you know, guys like Rick Aldeman, uh, Jojo White, Pete Marinovich, uh, Rick Mount, and Calvin Murphy? Well, each one of them sort of, uh, is a different ball player. Uh, Rick Mount uh, played at Loyola, and we would play against him in the league, then he came on to the uh, uh, Olympic uh, trials as well. Uh, you know, Jojo White, uh, Pete Merovich, uh, were tough ball players to, uh, to play against. They were so well schooled, and Jojo White came from Kansas, and uh, what he did at the Boston Celtics was uh, uh, very, very good. This uh, Pete Merovich, same thing. Uh, so, what it's like to play against them, you just, again, just are awed by uh, how they uh, have affected the game to a, almost a science. And uh, you just hope that they do not embarrass you. I think that's the main thing. You want to make sure that you do not embarrass your team or yourself uh, when you need to guard them or trying to guard them. Uh, have you seen The Last Dance? No, I have not yet. Uh, I've heard, I've read, and heard great reviews, and I'm looking forward to watching it uh, in the very near future. But it's, it's, uh, it's a, it sounds like a great uh, story, or it is a great story, and I'm looking forward to it. Here you go. Yeah, it's uh, the full ten episodes is out, and um, thank you, thank you, Dennis. Thank you for coming on the show. My pleasure. Are you, do, are you playing basketball next year, uh, oh. Hey John? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to play. I play every year. I plan to play into college. All right. Well, you get to play for the, uh, the Orange Bay? Maybe. Maybe for the Orange. Maybe for uh, Northwestern Wildcats. I don't know. All right. Well, whatever you do, I know you're going to do very, very well. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Give my best to uh, your parents and okay. your grandparents. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Thank you. Night. And ladies and gentlemen, that was Dennis Black, one of the greatest basketball minds in history, a USF Hall of Famer. He uh, he played. Uh, with great players, and he played with uh, he played for and with um, some of the greatest coaches ever to play, and he played with Bobby Knight. He played with um, Coach K. I mean, he he really has an interesting lifetime, and I mean, I hope to end up having him on the show after a USF game or something, uh, you know. But uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me, and uh, have a great day. Um, and thank you.